there's people in the world that have skills and strength and talent that I will never have. You can be whatever you want to be as, as long as you want it bad enough. Those are not true. They're fairy tales. We all have limitations. I don't have the right genetics to be an Olympic champion sprinter or a whatever sport you want to name. Now, sure, if I trained my whole life, perhaps I could have achieved some high level in those sports, but I can tell you I do not have the DNA to be the best in the world in those categories. Does that mean that I give up? Does that mean that I quit? Of course not. It means that I'm going to try to be the best that I can be. The strongest, the fastest, the, the smartest, the smartest human that I can become. The only thing that you can always, always, 100% of the time control is the amount of effort that you put into each attempt. That you can control every single time. That means getting up early, going to bed late. That means you don't go to sleep when you're tired, you go when you're done. So remember, success is never on discount and greatness ain't never on sale. Life is a war and there are people out there and there are things out there that are trying to take you down. Things are going to go wrong and when things go wrong, it's pretty easy just to say, you know what, I'm going to stand down or I'm going to give up and you can do that. But I think no, I think no, I think keep fighting and you keep fighting and you keep fighting and you keep fighting no matter what and you never quit you never never quit and it also means that things are going to be tough things are going to be tougher than anything you can imagine that's the test don't fail the test don't give in don't quit don't ever quit fight on fight through the storm fight through the pain and come out the other side stronger and tougher and better. A fighter, a survivor, a winner, victorious and free from that storm, free from the darkness. We are all on a separate journey. Success is incredibly important, but even more important than success, it's having an impact. It's knowing you haven't walked the planet in vain. It's knowing that because you've been here, You've blessed lives, you've developed people, and you have made the world a better place. The effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. Everything you gain in life will rot and fall apart, and all that will be left of you is what was in your heart. Life is a mirror, and life gives us not what we want. Life gives us who we are. When you were born, you cried while the world rejoiced. Live your life in such a way that when you die, the world cries while you rejoice. It is okay to be scared, it is okay to cry, but giving up is not. I just want you to know that it's not the end. It matters how you're going to finish. I don't care how dark it looks for you. I don't care what they just said to you. I don't care what the verdict is. I don't care what the haters say. It ain't over. No matter what happens to you, it ain't over. Ain't no such a thing as over. Now, whatever you've been through, whatever that is, guess what? You still here. You have a great life in front of you, but your great life is in front of you. It's not behind you. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. You just got to quit tripping while you're in the process because the process is necessary. You may not see it now, but when he gets you on the other side of it, you're going to see exactly why it went that way. And you're going to be okay with it. Pull yourself together and quit tripping because you're in the process. When you feel like giving up, don't. When you're thinking about giving up, don't. When it look like you ain't gonna make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, come on man, who are they? When they tell you to put all your stuff back on your desk, don't do that man, don't do that. When they tell you you're not gonna make it, don't believe them man, don't believe them. You got to be relentless. The harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. See, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's, it's just something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. 
And people know that you know what life is, that you have embraced life. You knew it was hard, but you did it hard. I'm going to have setbacks, I know. But if I'm feeling bad, that doesn't mean I'm doing bad. That doesn't mean I am bad. That doesn't mean that I can't still take some action. Because, yeah, nothing changes and nothing changes, man. You know, we'll sit around forever wondering, well, what if I, you know, what if I was a dog catcher? Would I be the best? What if I was a, you know? Hard times create hard men. Hard men create soft times. Soft times create soft men. Soft men create hard times. You're a man. You are a man. Stand up and be a man. Make the hard decisions, make the sacrifices, make the unpopular decision, and become comfortable in your own skin. And if you are not a person that you are comfortable being alone with, that is the one person in this universe that you have full power, full right, and full responsibility to change. You should be a monster. Some of you just don't understand. Some of you have been average for so damn long, you don't know what it is to do hard work. There's a lot of you out there who want to be much more than average, but just don't know how to do it every single day, the grind. Don't get so overloaded with the, with the temporary pain of the situation. Think past the pain to the pride that, that that pain it creates. You know, the pain in there felt equates literally to the peace and joy tomorrow. Imagine walking out the door a loser. I'd rather die. I would rather die than be that loser guy. Do you want to walk out the door a damn loser or do you want to walk out the door a winner? This is a mindset. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. But there's a motherfucker out there who wants what you have, who wants the position you are, who wants the job you have, who wants the wife that you have, or the husband. There's someone out there hungry and wants everything you fucking have. The problem is, most people don't have a plan. And without a plan of your own life, you become the plan of someone else's life. You're not running the day. The day's running you. The differential between those people is belief. One person with belief overrides a hundred people with just intent. Tired is only in the mind. Tell yourself you're tired, you're gonna be tired. I don't get tired. I'll fight to the death. I mean, sometimes I actually went close to death. Mm -hmm. It sounds crazy. But you gotta give it that much. If you want results, otherwise you'll be like everybody else. Intent is thought process, thinking, wargaming it, never putting their foot forward, never putting their, their face or their name to the fire. Belief is going after and figuring it out along the way. The reason why many of us battle sometimes with change, it's because we don't understand the great value it takes and how much it can help you because it's so uncomfortable. But when you begin to understand being uncomfortable is the only way we're going to get it better. There's no way around it. You've got to be willing to be uncomfortable. So stop wasting time. Stop and go out and do the work to bring that vision to life.